Okay, so I'm going to attempt to uh, to do another video review. Um, this time it's for something called an Emito. I think it's called Emito, Imito, Emito, um, and the model number is MX2. It, from what I understand, for all intents and purposes, it's uh, it's just an MX1 with a different case, and they put some vents in the bottom of it, and then the layout on the bottom of the um, on the motherboard itself might be different as far as the components um, just basically to deal with heat dissipation but um, so this is the uh, the screen that you get I added this little X up here um, that's a uh, like a task killer I just put that there for the hell of it just to see if I could add stuff to this main screen um, when you get here uh, it's all of these things here and then all these down here I don't know how you I haven't checked into figuring out how you change those yet if you can like adjust these tabs or whatever but um I don't love this because I kinda like the normal Android UI but this is also um, very easy to, uh, to deal with for someone that just wants to use it mostly as a media center um, or that's new to Android you know overall but I put TuneIn Radio here um, click on it it's all very quick um, go to recommended and let's see it's fine, it's been decent. Um, oh, ESPN New York, okay. Let's see how, okay, so it's already loaded. Um, I have to admit, I get this. All right, there I you get go. this, and they're trying to keep a special teams play involved. So that's Mike and Mike in the morning for all you sports fans. Um, I uh, I'm a night owl, so I can uh, I see these guys all the time at four o'clock in the morning when I'm really bored um, because. I think you have to kind of be bored to watch them, but anyways, um, so that's that. Uh, settings are here. You go into settings, and then it gives you uh, Wi-Fi. I have access to um, all of my Wi-Fi, uh, and then I even pick up something here. I got three bars for something here. I don't know what that is, but um, uh, these are mine. Um, this uh, this one here is actually very close, and I connected it to one very far away just because I wanted to see how good the Wi-Fi was and um, no drops yet. I'll do a speed test in a second so you can get an idea how quick the uh, the, the connection is with the, the PC stick itself. Um, system information takes you to like you know the version Android 4.1, the uh, model number, the CPU, what build, all that kind of stuff. Um, very boring. This, there's no uh, micro SD card in there, so there's uh, no space. It would read whatever you put in there. 2, 4, 8 gig, 16, 32, whatever. Um, the device itself has 8 gigabytes of data, and 5.32 is um, what's on there when you get it fresh. I added some programs or whatever. Um, internal storage, uh, this was actually, I think, like 8.52 or something along those lines, but... Um, that's just uh, the one gigabyte of RAM that you have, I believe. Um, I'd have to check on that. I don't know. But um, display setting, um, that's something completely useless, I think. Bluetooth. Um, with the good thing about the Emito models is that it has Bluetooth as opposed to the MK808, MK802, MK802+, MK uh, the UG802, and, you know, the on the forever li uh, long list of different model numbers. Um, this is one that does have Bluetooth. I don't really have anything Bluetooth here other than I think my phone and my wife's phone. But uh, so all right. So apps. This is something I don't like. Um, when you go here, everything looks kind of blown up and stretched out. Um, I'll go back here and I'll show you. When you go into settings, you can change. Um, I think it's in here. Advanced settings. Uh, device okay so no nope. so you go to screen and it tells you what the output is or whatever and then you can go to screen scale and that's that thing you know whatever if you need to move it left or right if it's off center or something for some reason um, but then you can go to font size right now it's small um, if you give this thing to your grandparents or something then you can blow it up really big like that which um, I mean if you can't see that then you're blind as a bat. Um, I yeah, and also I think when you do that and you look, you'll see everything starts to get overlapped, which that's not too sexy. So I'm gonna change the font just to like normal or something. Um, sound I didn't mess with that yet. 
Um, but system, USB, storage, you know, whatever. Um, by the way, I'm just using a mouse to control everything. The mouse wheel works. You can scroll up and down when you get to apps. Um, mouse wheel works. Or actually, you can just click on it and, like, drag it up and down. So for these games, I just installed a whole bunch of crap to see what would work and what, and what wouldn't. And um, what you're going to find is it's kind of a mix. Um, every single game loaded, but some of them, once they loaded, might not give you the option to click. Um, I, uh, I wrote a list real quick, and we'll just go through it. I'll try to go through it from memory. I might have to refer to the list. 3D Bowling worked. Um, Animal Match, my daughter plays this. It's just like a match card game. That worked. I ran Antutu Benchmark. It came up like 7,800, which um, for phones, that put it above a, a Samsung Galaxy Nexus, a, a Motorola Droid Razor, LG Optimus 2X, those kind of you know high-end phones. Um, for tablets, it came out higher than an Asus Transformer, 10-inch uh, Samsung Galaxy Tab, um, came up way ahead of an uh, Amazon Kindle Fire, their, um, their latest tablet. Um, but yeah, so that was the benchmark. Basketball Mania uh, did not work. Break the Bricks worked, but it was completely and like stupid. It was just pointless and kind of a dumb game. A Break the Bricks would be fun if it were if you have a like a one of those remote control things or if you have a mouse pad um, where you can use your finger instead of a an actual mouse. Coin Dozer did not work. Doodle Bowling worked and it was awesome. Um, very fun. Fruit Ninja worked, uh, I'll, I'll try a couple of these just real quick to give you an idea of you know what they look like when they work. Um, Fruit Ninja worked, Farkle, my son likes this, it's some kind of dice game that worked. Um, MX Player works fine, Opera Mobile, somebody told me to download that, it works fine. Uh, the Play Store is everything, you know, there's millions of things in there available, um, not millions, tens or hundreds of thousands. Prize Claw is made by the same people as Coin Dozer. My son loves both of these, and neither one of them play. Um, Soccer Kicks did not play. Rollerball played and was actually kind of fun. Um, Words with, with friends. Somebody asked me, sent me a PM asking about to check this game. Um, it works great. I'll, uh, I'll log into the little thing here. Um, and unfortunately, I I tested just to check this, and whoever this Eugene Sosa is. I'm very sorry because I'm never going to finish this game. Uh, I just did it to see if it worked, so there you go. Um, sorry, Eugene. Um, this is not a game for me. All right, so, uh, oh, and also the right click just backed you out of all the screens. Um, so speed test. Let me run a speed test here and give you an idea of um, how fast the, uh, the Wi-Fi chip is inside the, uh, the Emito MX2. 14 millisecond ping. That's pretty darn good. Um, 23 and a half megabits per second. Um, and actually, the first time I ran it, it was higher. It was like 24, 24, 24 and a half or 25. Um, and then that's like just under three megabits per second uh, upload. Um, which, if you know anything about internet connections, that's pretty fast. Um, so yeah, that's all there is to that. Um, Punch Hero. This is for um, uh, this is for my my idiot brain dead friend, uh, Mr. Fireballs. Fireballs, if you're out there, I just want to say a friendly hello. Um, so this takes a second to load. Uh, again, this is a game that works and it works fine with a mouse. But if you had a, a game pad or like a mouse pad where you could use your finger on an actual pad, uh, I think this game would be. Like, this game would be fun as hell. Um, so that's me. Um, I don't know if it saved my stuff on here or not. I set up a little guy real quick. Uh, arcade mode. There I am, Evo IC from Italy. Um, and this is Jones, whoever, I don't know. I think Fireballs has red hair, so I guess we won't get that. Uh, for him. Okay, so that's a jab. Oh, sorry, that's a uh, you jab here, straight right here, or right. You do a cross, or I mean a hook, sorry. Down here you dodge. Uh, let me wait for him to throw a punch. Dodge. Oh, dodge the wrong way. 
to do a big uppercut. Or no, sorry. Let the hook. This is an uppercut. And missing wild. Anyways, this game was a lot of fun. Um, if uh, if you have that air remote control thing, I think this would be uh, even more fun. Also, the air remote control I um, that has a gyro sensor. Um, my guess is that it would work with uh, with race car games. I don't know that for sure. Um, yeah, and so I said I'd try a couple of these real quick. The only thing I didn't like on some of these games, you um, the first the very first screen loads. Um, it loads kind of like stretched out or something just on the on the first screen, and then once the game loads, like into the game, I think maybe it maybe it thinks it's a tablet or something, so it stretches it out um, for kind of a lower resolution than when you start the game. It applies whatever resolution it's uh, it's set up to be. I don't know. Um, but this, if you roll it nice and slow, you can actually curve the ball and do all kinds of fancy stuff. But um, So that's doodle bowling. Uh, let's see. Um, the brick game was dumb. What else was good? That roller ball was good. Um, Fruit Ninja. No faint. I turned faint off because I don't uh, I don't like it, but maybe I have to have faint on to play this game. If anybody knows that, let me know. Uh, I'm gonna go back home and not worry about it right now. So um, the Play Store is uh, is there with the apps, movies, everything that you'd want to download or play or whatever um, games. It gives you access to all of them. Like I said, it's just kind of a um, it's kind of a, a matter of. Uh, of just you know picking it and see if it works. Um, all these Angry Bird things, you just grab the screen and, and toss. That's good. Temple Run is probably not going to work unless you have some type of gyroscope thing or whatever. Um, oh, somebody wanted me to try that uh, that piggy game. Um, some guy is like obsessed with this bad pig game. I looked at it and it's, I think it's dumb. I'm not into it. It's like a Angry Birds with pigs or something. Uh, that game does not work. Um, and there's a soccer kit game that I checked that also didn't work. But um, uh, yeah, so that's about it. Anyways, so that's for the games. Let me show you real quick just the um, the web browsing speed so you get an idea how fast things load. Um, Opera looks like it sees, um, this is like a desktop layout. So um, that sucks. There's a 7.3 earthquake in Japan. I feel bad for those poor Japanese people. Um, they're not having a good, a good year or two. Um, error process. Oh, so I guess we can't click on that one. Let me try this one. Um, this looks to me like it's you know, I guess like it thinks it's a a desktop layout. Uh, when you go to Chrome, Chrome won't let you go to Yahoo unless you um, do it as a tablet. So when I click on that, if you look up there, it says tablet, and it views everything, you know, like it's a tablet. So um, that's that. I don't have any videos. I guess I should put some video clips on like a micro SD card and then uh, and then play those. I know a lot of people are into knowing whether or not like a .mkv file will work. Um, oh, this was cool. This whole media center thing. Um, I guess you hook up, hook it up to like your PC and stream, you know, your home movie media center, um, and you add shares. Like, I forgot what that's called. Um, it's some kind of, some kind of thing where you're able to set up different devices to share media across the different devices. This media player, I get from what I get from this. If you plug in a like a USB stick or a um, micro SD card or whatever, it'll scan and. You know, play from here. This would be your little movie theater area, or whatever. Um, settings is how you connect everything. I guess I don't know. It shows you all like the um, the upload locations and what the um, what settings are. Anyways, so that's that. Um, gestures. This is kind of cool. You can you know you can make it so that if you just kind of do like a sweeping motion, you know it has one thing and um, all different kinds of uh, options to set things up as shortcuts 
Um, I don't know that that would be incredibly useful to me, but whatever. Maybe somebody's into it. Um, I didn't go here. This is the standard, um, the standard settings. Um, let me go to that screen and see what the output is here. Um, HDMI mode, yeah. So you can set it down to 720p or 480p uh, or 1080. Um, yeah, any questions, just let me know. I'll try to help with whatever I can. Um, I know last time I posted a video.